Joining me in the studio, I'm very pleased to have as a guest, Lauren Barth, the new album Forager. Hello. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well, along with Jesse Acock. Hey, how's it going? Jesse, I've seen you play a couple times. Yeah. Nice to have you here. Good to be here. Now, you're from Tulsa? Yes, yeah. Okay, well, we can talk about that. I did my time in the Midwest as well. Oh, so. really? we want to hear. Yeah. yeah. And Lauren, where are you from originally? From L.A. Okay. I grew up in Santa Barbara, and I went to school in Santa Cruz. I I lived in the Bay. In various areas mm -hmm. for a long time. You were a uh, banana slug? I, yeah. yeah. Banana slug for life. Mm -hmm. And uh, you say actually on the album you have a dedication to your two cities, Oakland and Los Angeles. I do. I feel like they're my special ones. Yeah. You spend a lot of time in Oakland? Yeah. yeah. It's the first place I really lived like on my own mm -hmm. after college, so it's spe special to me. And how long have you been playing out? How long have I been playing? Yeah. Um, well, I started playing shows actually probably almost eight years ago in the Oakland area. I was just talking about it last night. The first place I played a solo show was at the Starry Plow. Okay, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. That's a nice venue. Yeah, I love it. Um, and But you're based in Los Angeles now? I'm in Tulsa now. Oh, you're in Tulsa mm -hmm. now. That's a big change. It really is. <laughs> how, do you, how do you like the weather? The weather's crazy. It's fun. Yeah. You know, it's unpredictable. Um, which I guess we kind of were used to in the Bay. It's just more extreme. Have you been through tornado watches yet? Yeah, and I didn't believe, I, I, don't, I still, I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the difference between living here and there. When a tornado comes, you get to see it. When an earthquake comes, you have no idea. You just feel it, yeah. 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 Um, and you recorded the album in Tulsa? We did it in Little Rock, actually. Oh, in Little Rock, mm -hmm. okay. Um, it's a really nice sounding record. Thank you. You did a good job. Jesse produced it. He did, yeah. Um, it, um, in fact, let's play a cut from it, shall we? Sounds good. Um, this is a cut that they requested that we play. It's called Learned It From The Sky. It's Lauren Barth on KRCB. That's Lauren Barth and Learned It From The Sky from the album Forager. Um, interesting kind of percussion and stuff going on in that song. What was, what was the instrumentation that made those cool sounds? That was the genius of our friend Andrew Bones, uh, who played drums on the record, and um, he did a lot of the, uh, he did all the drumming and percussion stuff, and then um, he also played a, a vibes track on that uh -huh. song. Yeah. So that's some of the like skeleton sounding stuff. Lauren Barth and Jesse Acock in the studio with us. Uh, they're driving around to support this record, playing some shows here in the Bay Area. Yes, we are. And I know you've been having troubles with your throat, so. Man. Yeah, I woke up two days ago and I it was gone. Yeah, <laughs> nothing came out. Do you get allergies? Do you think that? Yeah, I get allergies and also stress. I hear that stress is a a, a throat killer. And we had a, our friend Levi Parham, who's another amazing musician. He mm -hmm. was on tour with us, and Jesse was actually back east doing hardworking American stuff. And Levi got real sick and. We had no idea, but he had appendicitis. Oh, no. So we had to go to the emergency room, and it was just like a crazy... He's totally fine on the mend now, but it was like the, a very stressful day. Well, we'll make so. this stress-free. <laughs> Today you. is stress-free. Today is very Levi, relaxed. we love you. Yeah. <laughs> Feel better, Levi. We play his record, too. It's, it's, it's great. a great record. Yeah. <laughs> um, you brought your guitars. Would you like to do a song for us? Sure. So Lauren Barth and Jesse Acock here in the studio. Oh, 
ground. Been beating my own songs around, losing faith in my own sound, giving up. It's getting me down. Oh, now. Lauren Barth and Jesse Acock here in the studio. That was really nice. Thank you. Your voice kind of held up. It kind of, yeah. I thought I was going to lose it at the end there, <laughs> but it came back. <laughs> <clears throat> we were talking a little bit off mic about um, what a major scene musically is happening in Oklahoma. Um, I told you Parker Millsap was in here not long ago, and uh, John Moreland, John Fulbright, all sorts of stuff coming out of there. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's really impressive. Um, with a lot of the traveling we do and stuff, we, uh, you know, we have been exposed to a lot of wonderful music everywhere, of course. Um, but uh, there's there is something in in Tulsa that that for how for the size of the city it is, it's amazing that the musicianship and the and the talent that comes out of such a small place. Um, the community is so unique in that in 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 such a communal way um and everybody everybody seems to kind of grow um from that and and rub off on each other a little bit you know yeah. it's really really pretty cool i like to um, talk about the scene that we have here in sonoma county because what's yeah. really cool is that you know it's kind of a small area geographically but yeah. everybody knows everybody but everybody supports everybody that's, that's really where cool. it's at you know you go to shows and you see other musicians that are coming to see their friends play yeah that's how it is in tulsa it's like any show we play it's mostly musicians yeah. Yeah. that come see us and then because of that everyone knows each other's material and can play together and sing together and it's yeah. really, really yeah the cool. whole cross pollination thing is really cool mm. and it i think in in certain communities <clears throat> like you guys have here even it's like whenever there's whenever there's cross pollination going on then there then a certain kind of sound can develop out of that that's unique to that area mm -hmm. you know yeah it's it's interesting sonoma can sonoma canna <laughs> sonoma canna <Yeah. laughs> you guys want to do another tune sure since that one was so yeah. pretty Lauren Barth, Jesse Acock in the studio. Lauren's new album is entitled Forager. I don't expect to hear this voice on that album. <laughs> this is in my new voice.
To the drought. What a pretty song. Thank you. Do you write all the time? Um, no. I don't write all the time. I write in spurts. Do you need like a private quiet space to do it or can no. you do it in a car? I can or? do it literally anywhere. I can it just depends on when it happens. Yeah. When the muse hits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean a comfy spot usually helps, you know. Mm-hmm. Like a a cabin. <laughs> With the front porch and some gentle rain. Nestled in the woods. We don't always have that. (laughs) (laughs) That would be ideal, huh? Yeah. So if I'm in a really inspiring environment, then it, you know, it comes easier. But sometimes, I don't know, it just hits. And then I usually have like a writing spurt and I'll write three or four songs and maybe one or two of them will be keepers. Yeah. 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 Someone told me once that you write a hundred songs before you get a good one. Yeah, I should do that. That's yeah. the the theory. If you write every day, then you get more songs out of it, obviously. Yeah. But you get more throwaway songs, and I don't like throwaway songs. Well, you think you're wasting your time? I don't know. I just like I, I'm very spoiled because sometimes they just come out in one piece, you know. So now if I have to work hard for it, I don't want to. Do you get the idea from chords or from lyrics or both? Both. Yeah. It just depends. Sometimes I'll have a chord progression that I'm playing with for a while. You know, like I have a few now that I've just been, like every time I pick up a guitar, it's my go-to. And sometimes it takes a year. All of a sudden a melody will pop up and sing it on top of it. Sometimes it comes all at once, you know, chords and melody. It just depends on when you get lucky. We have to break for the news here in, in just a few seconds. I'd like to invite you guys to hang out if you've got time to hang out for a little while after the yeah, news. Sure. And we'll play some stuff off the CD and chat Sounds a little good. more. Yeah. Lauren Barth, a new album entitled Forager. Um, it's good. You can get it at your local record store, like the last record store here in Santa Rosa, or you can get it online. Um, do you have a website that you want to yeah. plug? Yeah, uh, laurenbarth.com. That's easy. I bought it. Oh, good. Did you have to buy it from somebody? <laughs> no. Oh, that's good. Apparently, the other Lauren Barths don't value their website as don't, much as I do. <laughs> don't value the domain. Yeah, but I got the domain, and I, I pay for it, so cool. visit us there. <laughs> Lauren Barth, Jesse Acock. They're going to hang out for a little while. It is a Friday. You're tuned to KRCB FM Windsor and K215CQ. Santa Rosa. We're supposed to say that now. I don't know why something in the legality knows. Uh, it is a Friday. Brian here with you. We're going to take a break for network news and we will be back. Okay, my pardon. Now I want it back. Lauren Barth here from the new album Forager. That's a great tune. Thank you. That's a really, that's a hit record. We love that one. Yeah. Lauren is joining us in the studio along with Jesse Acock who uh, produced this record and you guys are partners in music and partners in life. We are. From Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yeah. So was it a culture shock for you to move to the Midwest? Not as much as I thought, but it's kind of, it seeps in slowly. Yeah. You know, I just start to notice things that, you know, things that are different. Growing up here, growing up in California, is it's, all, it's a very unique experience. <laughs> Um, I can vouch for that because I grew up in California uh-huh. on the West Coast. And then um, right when I was starting high school, my family moved to Kansas City. Oh, yeah. And then I went to school, as I was telling you, in Kansas. And the minute I got out of school, I packed up my car and came Game right back. back to California. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's it's hard to leave, you know. There's something about, there's something about just leaving where you're from mm-hmm. that's hard. Especially for me, I'm so visual- and my inspiration, a lot, of, a lot of it comes from 
landscapes mm. and visuals. So I, I miss California a lot, but I moving to Oklahoma, I got a lot of new inspiration, yeah. you know, because it's just so different and it, it was exciting. You know, and, still and is. people who uh, only hit the coasts, they don't realize just how beautiful this country is. It's really beautiful. It's funny. I was talking to my friend last night and she was like, I've never been to Tulsa. I drove through Oklahoma. I hate it. It's so ugly. And I was like, well, yeah, you drove on the 40. The yeah. 40 is ugly through the whole place. It's like driving I-5. Yeah. You know? it's, and people say the same thing, like driving up I-5, it's ugly. And I'm like, well, you might not have really paid attention because there's beautiful golden rolling hills yeah. the whole way. You yeah, know, it's like a it's very you pretty. Always have to go off the beaten path a little bit. It's like it's somebody, um, a friend, well, a friend of mine was telling me that, that I, and I didn't know this, but Oklahoma is like one of the top, has one of the most uh, unique ecosystems in the it has world. the most diverse, diverse yeah. like, ecosystem. uh, ecosystems. <laughs> so people think about Oklahoma and they just think about like flat fields. <clears throat> yeah, like but Kansas, there are mountains yeah. and desert and rivers swamp. and streams. Yeah, and mountains. Swamps. Yeah, I yeah. mean, there's there, you just have to go to the corners. <laughs> yeah. So um, you're a California girl originally. And That's Jesse, right. did you grow up in Tulsa? Yeah, yeah. I'm local. How did you hook up with these jam band dudes? It's a long story, but I can make this. The short story is just that uh, I became friends with Neil Casal, who's in in a uh, in the hardworking Americans and CRB. I guess he's just uh, he's still in hardworking Americans, but he's taken taken a break for a bit. Um, but uh, Neil's the one who I met, who kind of introduced me to more of the jam band guys and a lot of the people out here on the West Coast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like Dave and, and da yeah, like Dave and and yeah, that's how I met all those guys. Jesse plays with hardworking Americans. That's the last time I saw him play was a couple years ago at the Phoenix Theater. And yeah, you had the lap steel going. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and you have your own career. You've got you put out your own records. I do. I've got a few records. And, um, yeah, probably time for another one. Yeah, but you gotta <laughs> you gotta work the girls, the women's first. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, fun. Gotta keep mama happy. <laughs> yes, we're hoping to do one together too. That yeah. would be a, a great duo idea. record. I mean, you guys thing. sing so beautifully together. Yeah, yeah. We did this one w with my name only, just because you know Jesse's super busy. We're both really busy, and I wanted to be able to to tour the record if Jesse had to do hardworking American stuff. But I think we'll do one together next. That would be great. Yeah. I'll make sure I'll get my hands on that and play it. We'll send it right to you. Lauren and Jesse are going to be playing at Terrapin tonight. At in the great room. Yes. What time do you guys go on? Oh, eight-ish. I think so. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably a detail I should know. Yeah. You don't have to worry about it for a couple hours. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, do you guys want to do one more song for us? Yeah, I think we're gonna You're do one, one of Jesse's tunes. Oh, there you go. Mm, let's do.
Jesse Acock and Lauren Barth. Nice. What's the name of that song, Jesse? It's called. What is that song oh called? Gosh. I can't remember that the name of my own first song. Last. That's it. First it's too last. early for From me. From his album Flowers and Wounds. <laughs> can buy it online. Well, I want to make sure that I get it on here so you get your point zero 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 two five cents. So, uh, we need, all right. We, we need can that. take yeah. every fraction of a cent. We need we that can. cent very badly. <laughs> Lauren and Jesse playing a Terrapin tonight in the great room. Um, opening up. Who's head, do we know who's headlining? San Geronimo. Oh, yeah. Playing. And they're playing Pink they're Floyd. playing Dark Side of the Moon. Yeah. I, I love those really guys. Cool. Yeah. Dave Zerbell's a good friend. They're yeah. sweet people. Yeah. Um, the record, Lauren's record, is called Forager. It's in stores now. You can get it online. You can go to laurenbarth.com. She owns the domain. Bought it. And also, hortonrecords.org is our record label from Tulsa. You can find our records and lots of other cool great stuff. Oklahoma musicians. Jonathan Tyler, you think, on here? I've seen him. He's great. Yeah, yeah. he's awesome. Yeah. He, uh, he and Nikki. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Nikki's a friend of mine, and Jonathan, known forever, and he kind of helped inspire one of the one of the tunes the beginning of it was just from and more, and, and sitting malcolm, around picking guitars with him malcolm holcomb <laughs> as well oh yeah yeah, yeah. malcolm mm-hmm. he's incredible you guys know everybody big inspiration yeah. <laughs> we've been around wide. the block a little yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that midwest isn't that big of a space well I guess yeah yeah it, it is. is and it's not yeah. and also just being a, a touring musician on in in this level I don't know. There's a spectrum, and there, there's a lot of people that we, you know, we cross. Yeah, we cross paths. Musicians with. we know in Tulsa, it's like our our buddy Jared Tyler. It's, he plays in Dobro and Malcolm's band, and so I've, uh, he's the one who turned me on to Malcolm years ago. Mm-hmm. But uh, he's wonderful. Lauren Barth, Jesse Acock, thanks you guys for coming in. Thanks for having us. Thanks for singing. I know your throat's been bothering you, but it was fun. You sounded great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for having us. And uh, check them out at. Terrapin tonight, along with San Geronimo. Uh, from the album, here is a song called I Won't Love, Let Love Make a Fool Out of Me. Amen. Yeah. It's Lauren Barth on KRCD. <laughs> <laughs>